नमस्कार नटरंग जम्मू के सभी दर्शकों को मेरा बहुत बहुत प्रणाम आई थैंक बलवंत ठाकुर जी एंड हिस्स टीम टू फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी टू शेयर माय थिएटर जर्नी विद ऑल ऑफ यू आई फील दैट एवरीवन इन लाइफ शुड डू थिएटर इट शुड बिकम अ लाइफ स्टाइल विद एवरीवन बिकॉज थिएटर काइंड ऑफ वॉश इज अवे the dust of everyday life and uh, brings reality in front of us um i was very fortunate to find my guru padmashri neelam man singh choudhury as early as 1986 i was just a teenager at that point of time and my first play with her was hate for the darya which was based on the story of sister of helen of troy clytemnestra and agamemnon king agamemnon uh, i played very interestingly i played the daughter of agamemnon and uh, the mistress of agamemnon in the second half of the play so two very different contrasting roles i was uh, very scared because till then i had done a play in school it was uh, appreciated uh, and i was able to go to international children's film festival uh, in 1985 um, also we had created an amateur group where we did aadhe adhoore and uh, ashar ka ek din having said that there was nothing close to the kind of work that neelam ji uh, had started doing and just after that i was very fortunate to get the role of rani the protagonist in girish kanad ji's uh, nagamandla a play that has stayed with me till now till date and we have done about 3 to 4 versions of the play because uh, i feel that uh, in life as we are growing you know every day there are so many experiences some of relationships of the challenges of life of the beauty of life that keep adding on to our personality and that um you know cha- those changes in our personality also affect our artistic expression so when an actor kind of um, expresses herself on stage how she would do when she was a teenager even if she is playing the same character which is of rani in nagamandala it would be very different how she would play it today so when i was a teenager it was a young girl who was married and uh, you know not loved by her husband so i played a real timid uh, very scared kind of uh, um, you know gentle a uh, tender kind of girl but uh, many years later when i played it with another co-actor uh, who is vansh bhardwaj who was trained at indian theater department again neelam ji's student because both of us were actors who had training in physical theater i being a graduate in dance of course which which had happened already and um, you know i've been training as a dancer since age 6 so he also had that kind of um, physical training so when both of us came together the whole dynamics of the play um, changed the way rani related to naga or the scenes that we created also um, you know it's beautiful to work with neelam ji because after every show she challenges you it's like you know an artist getting bored with her own work i mean I, i it happens to me all the time so she would say that what is new today and how how can you look at uh, the scene or the character in a fresh manner today what is it what is the new dimension that we are looking at or what is the new creative expression that we are looking at what is that another layer that we are bringing in today so uh, the second version that uh, Uh, we call vansh lovingly we call him rocky so the uh, uh another layer that rocky and i were trying to bring or a new expression that we were trying to bring was very physical but in the third um version of it you know rani has become a woman in her own being it's almost like this kind of life is not acceptable to her 
So she is the one who evokes this passion. She is the one who decides that this is how things are going to happen. Uh, she is the one who kind of plunges into it, but almost consciously. It's not the, the uh, passion and the love that is manifested in the scenes with Naga, uh, Naga are not so much subconscious subconsciously done. It's like when you're aware of your real and the illusionary world um, in a conscious manner. So these are uh, some beautiful journeys that an actor takes. And also I've been very fortunate to, uh, you know, be trained in this beautiful language, uh, which uh, Neelam Ji creates, which is, you know, through images and objects and an actor's body. So everything, the actor, the properties, the space, everything kind of become one to express that emotion, to dig in deeper into the layers of uh, uh, any feeling so that peel by peel we ex explore and we express that feeling. Looking at uh, Nagamandla later on, you know, Kitchen Katha came in, uh, which had 10 live burners on the stage and uh, musicians would uh, sing and dance and cook at the same time. And all of us were uh, involved in a lot of, uh, you know, that Kitchen Katha would be a study in what discipline that is uh, is required for an actor or a performer on stage. It's almost like a trapeze artist. If you kind of slip, you will fall down. If you don't see, the oil would can splash out. If you don't put the salt at the right time, it will be tasteless when you serve it to the audience. If you are so busy doing that and you do not uh, remember the journey, the emotional journey that the character is going through, you will miss that. So what is that fine balance, the meditative quality uh, that an actor needs to uh, portray that, the skills that are required, the um, breath that you need to take? I mean, I feel that it's very important for an actor to realize the importance of um, the value of uh, meditation. You know, the preparation that an actor does for days and months and weeks to prepare for a role, you need to read and read and read. You, the playwright has given only this much or even a short story that you may be adapting is only this much. The, that it hasn't, it is not telling you what is the background of the, what is the social, the economic, the emotional background of the character. You have to create that. They, it doesn't tell you most of the time what is the socio-political environment, what is the economical environment uh, that the character is existing in, what is the educational background. So all that homework an actor must do. And after all that preparation and improvisations, when with the group you've created that character, you are close to the performance or even the rehearsals for that matter. Why would a rehearsal happen very well and other not? Slowly you have to arrive at a skill uh, where uh, you do not falter. It's almost like a singer. A singer cannot afford to have a false note. So what do you do? You do rias, but what else? And I feel that meditation, or an actor having a meditative quality is extremely important. And that is something that I brought in uh, very early in life. I think I would just enjoy um, acting so much or performing so much that I would just a couple of hours earlier when I'm already preparing my props, when uh, I'm getting dressed, you know, doing pranam to the costume, because that is what we are going to inherit. Um, that is the vastra that we are going to, jo hum grahan karne wale hai, um, as a character. So it's not just the outer appearance. Uh, so the costume, the accessories that you are going to wear while you're also preparing the soul. You know, you, you kind of 
keeping yourself just as an emotional memory, just as a subconscious. So how yourself goes out and another character seeps in has to be a very meditative journey. And once you you realize that you know you are meditating for a couple of hours and going into performance you will observe that how the quality is just heightened you know the experience that you go through you can actually live you can become that character you can live that character and uh, you you almost have a sublime experience while uh, performing and it only comes through heightened concentration meditation and that's where, you know, we have all of us have these stories of how someone broke a leg or how someone got injured. Like I had a fractured foot once. I fell into, because we used to perform in rock gardens before traveling all over the world. The first performances would happen there. So once I fell into the ditch where the waterfall lands and my stomach got injured and we had 12 shows of the Mad Woman of Shayo. But uh, we performed the shows because it had already been announced. But was I doing it in pain? No, because I feel it's that meditation that kind of, you know, elevates you and you stop even feeling the pain because you just become the character so much. So during the performance, I'd, all of us, I mean, we don't feel pain, isn't it? Uh, and it is only because we've transcended to a different level. Coming to uh, other side of training and evolving was, uh, you know, we were very fortunate that Neelam G had organized a workshop with uh, Clive Barker, the guru of theater games, as I call. So I feel I was very lucky that we got that experience uh, and it opened uh, so many doors and windows um, uh, within our hearts and mind, the training system, you know, uh, how to uh, use these theater games and exercises to train. So uh, one has been using that since a long time. I got married in 1996 and came to Kolkata. But uh, so there was this question mark whether I'm going to leave my work with uh, Neelamji, but I think we had developed a language together and that language was so important to me, so crucial uh, to my being an artist or my artistic or creative language that I felt that I have to continue working with her rather than, you know, um, do something else. So I would go back and it's been so many years now that uh, I think almost, uh, 23, 24 years after my marriage, I still travel to Chandigarh and work with her. So uh, what I'm trying to say over here that there was this one language that kept on developing as being a part of a troupe which also had female impersonators, live musicians, translations being done by Suji Pataji, music being created by BB Karanji, and the direction being given by Neelam Man Singh Ji. So one was very lucky to work with these three maestros to develop one's own creative language. But also it depends on us how much we want to challenge ourselves or our circumstances to see to it that we continue having that experience and developing further. In 2002 uh, in Calcutta, I created, uh, I felt that there's a need of creating a systemized training for children and adults in theater. So I created the creative arts and uh, um, in 2003, I was, lucky enough to get the Charles Wallace India Trust Award to, uh, so, so, you know, the Charles Wallace committee asked me, what would you like to do? I said, you've all seen my work, you tell me, but I personally would like to go and visit different schools or colleges to see their uh, theater training system. And I was lucky enough that they agreed and I studied at London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts, Central School of Speech and Drama, Birmingham School of Speech and Drama, worked with improbable theater where I learned that it is okay to fail. 
once you start succeeding, it becomes so much of a pressure that what more, what now, what do you do now? And that's where you kind of hold back and you, you actually create blocks for yourself. So over there, I realized that it's okay to fail. It's okay to do a bad performance. It's all right to do some bad improvisations because only through that you will learn, explore something new. You will learn something new. All this experience I brought back uh, where we give training uh, to children for 12 years. So they start theater training at age five with us and continue till class 12. So that's about you know, 10, 12 years of uh, training with us. So they start with introductory course, going to beginners, going to three years of intermediate, intermediate course and four years of advanced course. So these are all certified uh, courses and uh, uh, you know, um, we give them. But before I start with the creative arts journey, as an actor, I would like to just show a few visuals uh, which uh, belong to uh, our plays with Neelam Mansingh Chaudhary ji. Uh, I, I would just, uh, you know, share my screen. So these two pictures are uh, from Naga Mandala with uh, Vansh Bhardwaj. And uh, this is where the Naga comes to meet Rani for the first time. I would like to go to the next one. And yeah, this is where she's talking to the blind woman who keeps giving her the love potions. And the next one is a um, group picture, which is, uh, uh, you know, the beauty of uh, Neelam Ji's creations is that, uh, you know, how she translates, um, anything which could be surreal also. Now over here, this is the concept of uh, light. You know how, when we switch off the light, where does it go? So this is something very beautiful written by Girish Ji. And uh, how Neelam Ji personified uh, th these characters of uh, lights. And in this uh, version of Nagin Mandala, we all had these beautiful nets, uh, you know, uh, on our faces. It's almost like creating layers, the secrets, the whispers. Um, yeah, I would like to take you to the, this is one of my favorite plays uh, called The Suit. It's a South African short story by Ken Themba. And uh, uh, I mean, it's a story that talks about a husband and wife and how the wife has a lover in this scene. They have this brief uh, affair, but uh, her husband finds out and how uh, while running away the lover Fire, uh, leaves his suit behind and the suit becomes the third presence in uh, the life of uh, this husband and wife. So uh, in the picture on the right, you can see that how they carry the suit wherever uh, they go. It's almost like the third presence that all of us have in our lives all the time. And it's also the power play, the suit, uh, the original story had a connotation of uh, apartheid, but which Neelamji did not use um, because of the context. We don't have that context, but the power play was definitely uh, used, you know, how the third present becomes a power. And on the left, you see a blind dance, which is almost negative, but it was done very intensely um, by, uh, you know, by the actors and uh, to create that tension between the characters. And uh, the last scene where Nilamji kind of changed the ending, you know, what we did that um, in the original story, the character dies, but in this one, uh, the husband asks her to wear the suit, which is a scene before the ending, but we used it as the finale. Uh, he asks her to make love to the suit. He asks her to wear the suit. And she very sensuously wears the suit. And then she says that I'm not going to give it back to you. It's my skin now. So how the power uh, shifts from the husband to the wife. 
this uh, scene is from a wife's letter and uh, i think uh, we prepared the play when i was 5 months pregnant the first show happened in kolkata it's a tagore's play and rabindranath tagore and uh, um, i did a show in my 5th month's pregnancy uh this was done very beautifully because neelam ji created uh, two mrinals over here so mrinal is the protagonist so if you see there's a mrinal that was played by vansh uh, who was sitting in front and there was a mrinal that was uh, right behind over there so there was the practical and the uh, emotional there was the physical and the one that connected with the feelings uh, of the character so that's how it was done in a very interesting uh, manner uh, this is the last uh, almost the last scene of course there's a dance after this where you know she comes to know that her brother uh, no i think uh, bindu has passed away the with whom she bonded so yeah that was the scene uh yeah the oh this is the license which was uh, you know the, almost the play um, that was done recently or three four years ago the last play that i did with ma'am uh and this is during the preparation uh, of uh, the license this preparation for is for a very interesting scene because uh, this is uh, where uh you know uh, if you go back uh, i'll just take you back you can see a big bush in my hand so that i had taken for and if we, very cleverly if you see an orange cloth tied over there uh if it was for the love making scene that the uh, girl and the boy are having and i would dance with the branches and at a certain point of time the milk which i had tied inside the potli would pour um you know while dancing so yeah that's how we conceived it it's it's uh, it's almost like a monologue with of course gig garewal being there creating the background and she relates the story and this is where she comes out of her trunk talking about how she met this tonga wala uh, it's a sadat hasan monto story and this is where again she is talking about their love and how they met and uh, the license is about the woman asking for uh, the license of um, the license to drive a tonga uh, but she is rejected and she is almost told that um, tanga chalane ka license aurton ko nahi mil sakta hai tum itni khoobsurat ho kothe pe ja ke baith jao bahut paise kamaoge so that kind of tears her apart and uh, this is where she is uh, spewing uh, out uh, the image of the mango was cr created you know where she's eating the mango nicely before and then she's almost uh, chew chewing and gnawing at it because she says that i, I could have scratched the officer's face and uh, you know mm, uh, you know this is where she kind of talks about uh, feeling deep pain but uh, in the next scene she decides to uh, you know uh, take the tonga and drive it herself uh, whether she has the license or not and she gathers courage and she does it and uh, where this guy is sitting uh, you know um, i'll just go to the earlier scene you can see the guy sitting over there and sometimes you know the tonga would almost get lifted up because one would rotate it uh, um very uh, full you know with a lot of strength so uh, if we go to the earlier scene scene before that this is uh, where again you know uh, this is where she is feeling the pain but why i've shared this photograph is if you see this was to the center of the stage and with her head held back she is moving to the edge of the stage and in rock gardens once i almost went beyond the edge of the stage so this is where i would say that the technique the skill the precision is very very important if you miss it anything can happen so i'll go to the end where she says that um of course in monto story uh 
uh, it ends at the prostitute and she passes away. But Neelam ji took a reference from But All Breasts Play the Job. And she says that, Mar to mein pehle se hi ban chuki hu. Kabhi kabhi dhoop mein, kabhi kabhi sardi mein. Or din or raat tanga chalate chalate. That means that my feminine qualities have already vanished you know i've almost become a man so the way we showed it is i used to have these two tomatoes tied to myself uh, you know a white bandaged uh, thing and you know she would uh, squash her breasts and she would pull out her womb which is in the next photograph and uh, you know a cabbage like this and uh, pulling it out uh, from below so you know it's almost like defamination um and uh, expressing that how she was not so feminine anymore um somehow but she continues on her journey so the, those are some pictures uh of my work with uh, neelam ji and uh, i would over here bring you to the uh point of uh uh Uh, when I went for Charles Wallace, ca coming back to 2003, uh, in 2002, I met a director, Firenza Gidi. Wo site -specific, uh, plays bhi karte. Site -specific plays site specific place in Italy. Se hain. And uh, I, I got very fascinated because we did this play in uh, Shoba Bazaar Rajpari. Or I was बहुत ही मजा आया क्योंकि साइट स्पेसिफिक प्लेस वो होते हैं जो जहां आप पूरी साइट को पूरी जगह को यूज करते हैं और कहानी उस साइट से निकल के आती है तो ऑडियंस आपके साथ-साथ परफॉर्मेंस के साथ-साथ घूमती है व्हिच ऑल ऑफ अस नो अबाउट ऑफ कोर्स बट आई एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम गॉट वेरी फैसिनेटेड एज एन एक्टर बिकॉज़ इट वाज माय फर्स्ट साइट स्पेसिफिक प्ले सो 2003 में जब Trust Award Mila. I met Firenza Gidi again and uh, Italy may many unke saath uh, ek or site specific yeah. So when I came back to Calcutta in 2004, the creative arts ke under many uh, apna pehla uh, site specific play direct kiya, which was called Is Job Channa Coming to Dinner? Because Job Channa is supposed to be the first man who uh, kind of um, you know, explored Calcutta or, uh, you know, he's the first guy connected uh, to Calcutta from the East India Company. So it was a, a imaginary letter that was created. But what happened, there's a space called Swabhumi here, where we created the whole flower market, and then audience would travel and they would see the fish market, and then how a Bengali man uh, buys the fish and how they are invested in buying their vegetables right in the morning. Then the audience would travel and they would watch the family uh, praying to Goddess Durga. The Durga Puja is going on in home, at home. So after that, they come to the courtyard. You know, this place had a courtyard and uh, the audience was made to stand in the center of the courtyard and the scenes would go on the first floor and the ground floor and the actors can appear from anywhere as we all know so we had the kitchen scene where how the fish would be cooked and what precision would happen is uh, something that was discussed the cricket so we had 50 people all mixed it was Corporates, choreographers, dancers, uh, musicians, videographers, video installation artists, 25 children, where we also had hearing impaired, underprivileged, all mix of 50 people creating this play. So that was a matter of great joy. This genre excited me a lot. Uh, in 2006, site specific play kiya aur uh, uska naam tha the merry go round yahan pe goite institute ki ek bahut pyari building hai uh, thi abhi wo shift kar gaye so over there i call this play the merry go round which was the story of a theater group so the audience would come sit in the cafe unke tables ke upar mirror laga diya gaya tha aur kya kya cheeze actors aate the aur likhte the aur unse sawal karte the jaise play shuru hota hai 
उसके बाद क्या उनको चाय पिलाई जाती है और उसके बाद जब ऑडियंस उठती है उनको किचन में यू नो दीरियस सीन इन द किचन उनको बैक एली से ले जाया जाता है बाथरूम में सीन होता है फिर स्पायरल स्टेयर केस जो इतनी पतली है वो दो फ्लोर्स तक चढ़ के वो ग्रीन रूम में जाते हैं उनको सीधे रास्ते से नहीं लेके गए सो so, अब कॉम्प्लिकेशन बिकॉज नीलम जी हमेशा हमें याद कराते हैं कि इन थिएटर एवरी क्रिएटिव डिसीजन इज ऑल्सो अ प्रैक्टिकल वन तो आप खतरा नहीं ले सकते कि आप स्पायरल स्टेयर केस से जा रहे हैं किसी का सिर घूम जाए या कोई गिर जाए सो इट वॉज अ प्रोमिस टू द जर्मन डायरेक्टर के आ, हम लोग तीन तीन ऑडियंस को ऊपर चढ़ाएंगे और एक फ्लोर की हाइट पे हमने उतनी बड़ी एक लैडर क्रिएट की आ, जिसके ऊपर दो एक्टर्स बैठे हुए थे और सीन कर रहे थे तो उससे क्या होता है कि जब आप चढ़ रहे हो और इस हाइट पे आके आपको एक और सीन दिखे तो आप उसमें बिजी हो जाते हो तो आपका जो हेड स्पिनिंग है वो रुक जाता है फिर आप उनको देखते देखते आगे बढ़ जाते हो और आप ग्रीन रूम पहुंच गए सो दे वॉज अन इन दिस टाइट ग्रीन रूम फोर्टी फिफ्टी पीपल स्क्वीज अलॉन्ग विद एक्टर्स एंड वॉट्स हैपनिंग देन दे वर टेकन थ्रू द विंग्स द विंग्स वर डार्क फिर उनको विंग्स से स्टेज पे लेके जाया जाता है स्टेज में अंधेरा है पर्दा एकदम बंद है टॉर्चेस के साथ उनको सीन दिखाया जाता है जो सेकेंड वर्जन में चेंज होता है सेकेंड वर्जन में इट्स फेयरवेल टू एन एक्टर सो पूरा वो लास्ट सफर की तरह एक टेबल लगा दिया गया और ऑडियंस और एक्टर्स एक साथ बैठे जब पर्दा खुलता है ऑडियंस देखते हैं कि वो स्टेज पे बैठे हुए हैं और एक्टर्स ऑडियंस वाली जगह में है so there's a reparty over there so this is uh, another beautiful uh, experience that we all had creating this uh, theater groups journey uh, through a site specific uh, genre uske alawa jo ek aur genre maine theater ki explore ki which was theater science uh, this was a who project brought in by british council uh, rebecca gold or jeff tier ke sath humne kiya sujata sendi aur shamajit guho um, ne bahut uh, help ki uh, british council mein the wo to uh, is project ke liye maine bahut science padhi jo shayad maine school mein bhi kabhi nahi padhi aur mujhe laga ke kyunki main theater ke context mein pad rahi hu to shayad mujhe zyada samajh aa rahi hai to patency act se leke एड्स के बारे में कैंसर के बारे में इतनी रिसर्च की कि फिर एंड में हमने सोचा कि हम लोग एड्स के ऊपर प्ले करेंगे क्योंकि उस टाइम ये खतरा बहुत हमें लाइफ में बहुत लोगों को आ, लोगों के लिए चैलेंज था सो इट वाज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इश्यू एंड वी थॉट दैट वी शुड लुक इनटू दिस एस्पेक्ट दैट व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन you know your partner uh, gets aids how does the relationship change is there a financial burden how do your emotions change are you going to have a baby or not so lekin usse pehle it had to be connected to a biomedical research so i traveled to mumbai to research, you know to the institute talked to them and then uh, you know medical institute of social uh, to of uh, science research so uh, unse baat ki to uh, pata laga ki wo log ek uh, crab ke ek uh, se ek gel bana bana rahe hain jo as prevention use kiya ja sakta hai aids ke liye so this was the research that was going on so but it gave us a lot of material to work on and we called the play called crab soup or usme again vansh bhadwa jain taranjit kaur they played the role shantanu bose was doing it earlier artha kadozo my friend who's been writing all these plays for us uh, wrote that play to creative arts mein uh, hum logon ne aaj tak sabhi original plays create kiye hain या फिर डिवाइस वर्क है कि बहुत सारा मटेरियल जगह जगह से इकट्ठा करके उसको बुना है सो दिस हैज बीन गोइंग ऑन सिंस 2002 कि बच्चों के लिए भी आज 2020 हो गया वीव क्रिएटेड मेनी ओरिजिनल प्लेस एंड बड़ों के लिए भी वीव रिटर्न अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्लेस सो प्ले राइट्स लाइक आथर का संगीता बापुली बिशाली चैटर्जी दत्त 
एंड शुक्ताना लाल प्रोफेसर अनंत लाल की बेटी जिनके साथ प्रोफेसर लाल और शाति लाल के साथ क्रिएटिव आर्ट शुरू किया था तो शुक्ताना लाल ने भी यू नो डायरेक्टोरियली उसमें कंट्रीब्यूशन किया है सो बहुत सारे लोग क्रिएटिव आर्ट्स के काम के साथ जुड़े हुए हैं आई मीन इट वाज नॉट क्रिएटेड एज अ सिंगल पर्सन ग्रुप द क्रिएटिव आर्ट्स हैज बीन क्रिएटेड एज अ collective where many artists get together and uh, work together so now coming to um, you know i have unfortunately balwan ji uh, balwan thakur ji bahut uh, uh, apne bachchon ke kaam ke bare mein share kar rahe the aur main bahut uh, प्रेरित हो रही थी उस काम से क्योंकि आप लोग बता रहे थे कि नटरंग में आप लोग बहुत घूमे हैं बच्चों को लेके विच आई फाइंड वेरी चैलेंजिंग एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली मैं आज बच्चों के प्लेस की कोई तस्वीर नहीं ला सकी जल्दी में पर आगे बढ़ते हुए मैं कहूंगी कि uh, 2011 में आई क्रिएटेड एन ऑल वुमेन थिएटर ग्रुप विच इज विद वुमेन from non theater backgrounds they are homemakers they are designers interior or fashion design jewelry designer also uh, they are uh, teachers professors um they are uh, doctors so all coming from uh, research scholars also all coming from very different fields but they have decided to do theater in their lives and in 2011 thanks to these passionate uh women and it was shri arora who got it started um you know then we have sh- uh, some very strong actors in the group ab kuch ke naam main le leti hu lekin uske baad kuch aur log thode uh you know jinka nahi naam lungi wo bhi mushkil hogi but kayon ka lena zaruri hai because this was the first batch uh kamal alu walia ji jo shuru se jude hue the then shilpa jhawar um vinita sonia dheer um anita khandelwal aarti daga uh, you know bahut sare log is um, project ke sath abhi 8 saal se jude hue hain so over the, here i would like to share the pictures of my first play babre man ke sapne jo personal kahaniyon se prerit tha because this um is a uh, जर्नी जो थिएटर को जिंदगी से जोड़ती है थिएटर वैसे ही हमारी जिंदगी से जुड़ा हुआ है पर यहाँ पे थोड़ा दूसरी तरह की आ, हमारी जिंदगी में क्या हो रहा है और उसको हम थिएटर से अभिव्यक्त कैसे करें एक इंसान की अपनी निजी जिंदगी एक आ, और तरीके से कैसे थिएटर से जुड़ सकती है सो राधर देन कॉलिंग इट थिएटर एज थेरेपी और एनी थिंग आई वु से थिएटर फॉर लाइफ you know because i feel everyone should do theater in life sabko apni life mein theater se jude rehna chahiye uh, not only for physical health you take sports but if you want also your emotional and mental health apne um, bhavnaon ko uh, khush tabiyat rakhne ke liye theater se jude rehna zaruri hai so babre man ke sapne unki kahaniyon se prerit tha lekin the material was taken from uh, short stories by indian women writers and these are few images that uh, are there from the play in the first one it's a lot of cotton being um, because it was a bed scene that she talks about isse pehle ka jo scene hai wo apne ghar ke bare mein baat karti hai to wo reet ka ghar bana rahi hai aur khilono ke sath hai और यू uh, नो you know, उसका भाई जो अब नहीं रहा उसके बारे में बात करती है अगला सीन दो बहनों के बारे में है जिसमें जेलसी है यू नो एंड हाउ दिस डॉट सिस्टर हु टॉक्स अबाउट कि मेरी कभी ब्यूटी की बात नहीं हुई यू you नो know, मेरी हमेशा पढ़ाई को भी निगलेक्ट कर दिया गया मेरे अवार्ड्स और मेडल्स मेडल्स को तो ये शिल्पा और विनीता है पहले प्रज्ञा थी प्रज्ञा गोयल गुप्ता इज अनदर स्ट्रॉन्ग एक्टर आई डिन मेंशन अर्लियर सो श्री उससे भी पहले सीन में थी तो ये जो सीन है इसमें जो दोनों बहनें बात करती हैं तो वो कहती है कि हु डिसाइड्स हु इज ब्यूटीफुल कौन डिसाइड करेगा कि क्या खूबसूरत है या कौन खूबसूरत है बिकॉज मुझे लगता है कि मैं खूबसूरत हूँ सो दिस इज वेर यू नो शी इज प्लैश होल लॉट ऑफ पाउडर और Arta, I think she's working with. Uh, next, 
oh, this is where they take the last shot where they say that we are not going to face the domestic violence anymore or any kind of emotional violence. So uh, this is beautiful because the story revolves around Amma, uh, Kamal Aluwalia ji, and we have uh, Vinita Aarti, Shri, Nandita Daga, Bhavna, yes, was also part of the first group. Vanna Rati was in the first group. Anita Khandelwal, Pragya, Namrata Manot was another, is another strong actor who's there, and Sonia Deer. So over, Amma has decided to go to London who has never gone to market also alone. And she decides to go to London and uh, she calls all her daughters, cousins, sisters, everyone home to um, share this news with them that she's decided to travel alone to London to meet her uh, granddaughter who she threw out of the house because she married uh, a Westerner who Amma didn't want her to marry. So over there, the list that you can see, she gives them a whole list of things that they have to do or buy for her before she leaves for London. So this one is quite a delightful scene, at least a scene that we all enjoy a lot. Um, our second play as women's group was Simao Se Pare, which is about partition stories. And we took stories from uh, you know, Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. So partition on both sides. We covered stories and um, written by different writers, and uh, yeah, it was it was uh, placed in a railway platform, or you know, almost uh, you know where where the platform ends. You know, these women are taking shelter and they are together on a platform, and what happens? Uh, during those few days that they are together and how different stories are revealed. In the first picture, you saw them all together, which is almost the last scene. And in this one, she says that how, uh, you know, she dresses up as a boy, uh, you know, to save herself. And uh, she has a doll in her hand and the hair held like this, um, revealing a very intense emotion. Um, uh, this is a Muslim woman who uh, relates her story and she also climbs the ladder and she's almost, uh, you know, suspended in a horizontal position, just balancing herself on the ladder to show how she swims through the river. Unfortunately, I don't have that picture here, uh, but yeah, it is quite an uh, intense scene over here. Moving to burning bubbles are... Uh, this play was site specific with my women actors and it was done in Herring Harrington Street Art Center, which is an art gallery. And uh, um, it is based on uh, Federico Garcia Lorca's uh, The House of Bernarda Elba. Uh, one room was the room of awakened desires. Second room was childhood memories and third room which was which had installation as if it was the storeroom of the art gallery which it was initially and i mean in a normal routine was the room of suppressed desires so this is the room of awakened desires where the audience was put inside a net and they see the performance through the net so you don't know who is free who is not and what is the relationship. So it creates a very interesting relationship between the uh, actors and the audience. So uh, so what happens that the, this in this site specific, it's not the beginning, middle and the end. In this play, uh, the scenes in all the three rooms start together. And uh, the audience can choose which room they want to go to first, uh, room A, B, or C. So they could either go to A and then go to B, then go to C, or C, B, A, or B, A, C. So whatever combination they choose, they can go to any room in any room. There will be a performance in the middle. After 15 performance ke baad, Actors aisa ek lyrical sa pause lenge ke audience ko pata hai ye scene khatam ho gaya hum dusre kamre mein ja sakte hain and jaise nayi audience aa rahi hai um, actors 
दोबारा से सीन को शुरू करेंगे तो वो तीन लूप्स करेंगे उसके बाद तीनों कमरों से एक्टर्स सडनली मेन गैलरी में आ जाते थे और ऑडियंस को भी कुछ टेक्निक्स ऐसी यूज की गई थी कि ऑडियंस को अपने आप से गाइडेंस मिलती थी कि वो आ सकते हैं आई हैव ऑल्सो यूज ऑप्टिकल इल्यूजन इन दिस प्ले नाउ इन दिस रूम विच वॉज द रूम ऑफ चाइल्ड हुड मेमोरीज वी हैड लॉर्ड ऑफ रेत जैसे बच्चे रेत में खेलते हैं खिलौने थे कुछ इंस्टोलेशन थी सारथी दास ने की आई हैव वर्क विद शॉन चौन घोष लॉर्ड यू नो ऑन सेट इंस्टोलेशन इन दिस प्ले इट वॉज सारथी दास ऑप्टिकल एल्यूशन ऐसी थी कि इन दिस प्ले वी गिव फर्स्ट वी गिव फाइव सेंसेज एक्सपीरियंस टू द ऑडियंस वो ब्लाइंड फोल्डेड ऑडियंस इस कमरे में लाई जाती है उनको पाउडर टॉफी चॉकलेट अखबार से हवा करना जितनी चीजें हमें बचपन की याद कराती है वो वाला एक्सपीरियंस दिया जाता है उसके बाद उनका ब्लाइंड फोल्ड उतारने को कहा जाता है एंड द प्रोजेक्शन फ्रॉम द कंप्यूटर वॉज डन ऑन द सीलिंग सो यू हैव दिस सीलिंग सीलिंग के ऊपर सीन चल रहा है और नीचे में एक्टर्स एक्ट कर रहे हैं सो इट्स अ मल्टी लेयर एक्सपीरियंस दैट द ऑडियंस इज गेटिंग थर्ड सीन में अगेन आप ऑप्टिकल इल्यूजन देखेंगे ये बर्नाडा एल्बा की मान लो जैसे पेंटिंग थी इसके अंदर सारी उसकी बेटियां और वो एनकेस्ड थी जब ऑडियंस आती है बिकॉज इस कमरे में पूरा अंधेरा है सिर्फ ये प्रोजेक्शन की लाइट से तो एक जगह पे ऐसे लगता है वो तस्वीर में पास नहीं है जैसे पेंटिंग ब्लीड कर रही है सो इट्स अबाउट यू नो हाउ बर्नाडा एल्बा एंड हर डॉटर्स आर ब्लीडिंग इन साइड दिस हाउस अपने पैशन और फीलिंग्स को लेके सो दिस इज वॉट वॉज क्रिएटेड इन बर्निंग बबल्स लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड या दिस इज अनदर सीन फ्रॉम बर्निंग बबल्स दिस इज द लास्ट गैलरी सीन एंड दिस इज द होल डाउरी जो बनाडा एल्बा बनवाती है सो ये बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स की तस्वीरें हैं विच इज अ प्ले विच टॉक्स अबाउट बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स ऑफ कल यू नो रिलीजन कास्ट कलर नेशनैलिटी इमिग्रेशन इशूज जेंडर बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स ऑफ जेंडर बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स ऑफ माइंड एंड बॉडी अगेन इसमें जब ये प्ले हमने इंटरनेशनल थिएटर ओलंपिक्स में किया था तो ट्वेंटी नाइन वीमेन परफॉर्म इन जयपुर उनतीस और तीस स्टेज पे परफॉर्म की थी और उनकी उम्र थी अठारह साल से लेके सत्तर साल तक so that was the range that we worked in music diya gaya hai pandit tanmoy bose ji ka jinhone simao se parve mein bhi diya bahut acche aur umda music i mean i love he's an amazing musician i love working with him and i'm very fortunate ki hamare bahut sare plays ka music meri film silence ka music bhi unhone diya silence jo shudeep sen ki poetry pe based poetry film hai so this is the first scene where they are talking about you know uh borders and refugee i'll show you the glimpses let's go through it quickly so lot of um you know movement uh, and physicality is used lot of compositions are uh, used uh, to showcase a lot of stuff and of course dancers are there drums are used uh, this is a piece of a transgender so agar aap right mein dekhe wo ek 6 feet ki barf ki silli ke upar wo plastic mein hai jo transgender ka scene kar rahi hain to pragya yahan pe ekdam you know uska the character has had a surgery and the way she uh, wriggles and uh, you know क्या उसको कहते हैं इंटरेक्ट करती है बर्फ की सिल्ली के साथ ब्रिंग्स आउट अ लॉट ऑफ इमोशंस दिस इज ऑलमोस्ट द फर्स्ट सीन हाउ पीपल आर बीइंग कैरिड व्हेन द इमिग्रेशन इज हैपनिंग हाउ दे आर हाइडिंग और व्हाट्स हैपनिंग दिस इज अनीता शोमा गिरी इज अनदर वंडरफुल डांसर अरुणा देन दिस इज शुभा हु इज जंपिंग ऑन द थिंग यू नो श्रद्धा अगेन अ लॉट ऑफ मूवमेंट टू शो व्हेनएवर देयर इज क्योस and uh, yeah this is uh, ruhani singh who was only about 18 when she was performing this and uh, drums are shown and they have blind folds over here because this 
scene talks about a lot of politics and uh, this is another favorite scene of mine i'm sorry it's my work and i'm saying favorite because bahut maza aata hai scene mein shaadi hui hai aur uh, sabhi log apne ek dusre ke baal goond rahe hain to you know ye scene create karne ke baad mere students most of them are marwaris and they told me that um uh, You know, उनके यहाँ ये बाल गुंथने की प्रथा है सो दैट वॉज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग आप कुछ क्रिएट करते हो और बाद में पता लगता है कि ऐसा कहीं ना कहीं पॉपुलर है ये चीज और शायद आपकी किसी ओरल मेमोरी या कहीं ना कहीं का हिस्सा रही हो सो या दिस इज टॉक्स अबाउट बॉर्डर्स एंड या इन अदर इमेज दिस इज अ सीन वेयर शी टॉक्स अबाउट दिस इज अरियन यू नो रेफरेंस टू द Syrian uh, refugees and uh, that boy who was the picture of that boy on the beach um, inspired this image. So she has these dolls as if she's carrying hundred dead babies because the women and the children become the worst victims of any war, any violence that uh, you know, any mass violence or war that happens. uh even in lockdown i would say domestic violence has increased so much yeah this is uh, blindfolded because this talks about politics isse pehle ka dikhaiye so there's this girl who talks about borders a lot and crossing the borders and in the end she's dead because she tried to raise her voice so if you can see you know all these actors are trained physically um इन कलरी पैतू एंड छाउ जितनी चीजें की ट्रेनिंग भूटो में इनकी बहुत ट्रेनिंग हुई इस प्ले से पहले नेक्स्ट सीन दिस इज द लास्ट सीन वेयर दे ऑल होल्डिंग प्लांट्स सो देर होप पर ऊपर से रेत गिरती है सो बहुत तूफान है लेकिन हम उम्मीद को अपने साथ लेके चल रहे हैं अगर इसका वीडियो दिखा सके सो दैट ही बी नाइस इट्स अबाउट फाइव सिक्स मिनट्स
तो ये कुछ ये कुछ झलकियां थी बियॉन्ड बॉर्डर्स से आ, हम लोग का लास्ट प्ले डाइस ऑफ डिजायर्स रहा है इससे पहले मैं एक बात कहना चाहूंगी कि ये जो हमारी जर्नी चल रही है यू नो द वुमेन ऑल वुमेन थिएटर ट्रू इज आल्सो अ जर्नी ऑफ हीलिंग सो बहुत सारी हम लोग सबकी बहुत सारी लाइफ में बहुत सारी खुशियां आई हैं बिकॉज थिएटर हमें ये भी सिखाता है कि एक कुटुंब की तरह कैसे रहना है और यू नो इट टीचेस अस पेशेंस इट टीचेस अस हाउ टू डील विद अदर्स इट टीचेस इट गिव्स अस सो मच कॉन्फिडेंस एंड आई मीन चाहे वो टीम वर्क हो एक दूसरे को बर्दाश्त करने की स्माइल करते हुए शक्ति हो लेकिन ये ना हो कि आप अपने आप को मार रहे हो आप अपने आप को कैसे बचा के रखोगे और कैसे इस दुनिया के चैलेंजेस और दूसरे लोगों के साथ नेगोशिएट करोगे जो कभी कभी आपके साथ उतने काइंड नहीं होते सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स वी एक्सप्लोर टूगेदर इन दिस फोरम इन दिस मेथडोलॉजी दैट वी यूज हियर इन द क्रिएटिव आर्ट्स सो मैंने ऑलरेडी जब चल रहा था नटरन से इजाजत ले ली है कि मैं लास्ट प्ले की झलकियां भी आपके साथ शेयर करूंगी बिकॉज वो हमें बहुत अजीज है क्योंकि इट्स डाइस ऑफ डिजायर्स एंड इट्स अ प्ले बेस्ड ऑन द महाभारत जिसमें हमेशा यू नो महाभारत में मोस्टली वॉर का या ये सब चीजें 
ज्यादा एक्सप्लोर की गई इस प्ले में हमने सभी विमेन कैरेक्टर्स को निकाला और उनकी जो छोटी छोटी बारीक चीजें थी जो बहुत कम मैं सो हम लोग कोई भी प्ले करने से पहले एक साल उसके ऊपर रिसर्च करते हैं और पढ़ते हैं सो आई थिंक कितनी हजारों किताबें कभी रामायण कभी महाभारत कभी और मिथोलॉजिकल स्टोरीज या अदर थिंग्स दैट वी रेड एंड वी रेड एंड वी रेड एंड सो मेनी फोटोग्राफ्स ऑफ द होल ग्रुप सिटिंग इन द ऑक्सफर्ड बुक स्टोर रीडिंग थैंक्स टू मैना भगत जी तो उसमें uh, हम फाइनली इस पे पहुंचे कि हम लोग uh, महाभारत के जो विमेन कैरेक्टर्स हैं उनको एक्सप्लोर करेंगे और उनकी जो ऐसी चीजें हैं जो जिनके बारे में वो ज्यादा बात नहीं हो कि उनका एम्बिशन क्या था उनकी सेक्सुअल डिजायर्स क्या थी उनकी पावर की डिजायर्स क्या थी उनकी यू नो द डिजायर टू जस्ट गेट एजुकेटेड द्रौपदी उसके बारे में बहुत बात करती है तो आपस में संबंध क्या थे वे जेलस ऑफ इच अदर सो lot of things that are not so much talked about we try to take out texts and references and uh, explore a, a lot of uh, written material and then we came up with this this is a scene where all the women are gandharis hum sab gandhari bhi hain hum draupadi bhi hain hum uh, i mean teen uh, women is play mein krishna play karti hain uh, jo param shergil aur uh, आरती ने कृष्णा प्ले किया सो वो भी एक अपने आप में यू नो इंटरेस्टिंग चीज बन गई क्योंकि सब चीज इम्प्रोवाइजेशन से निकल रही है और जब वो संबंध बन गए और बात बनती जा रही है तो फिर हम लोग उस उसको उस तरह से रख लेते हैं दिस प्ले इज डायरेक्टेड को डायरेक्टेड बाय वंश भारद्वाज एंड आई हैव वंश एंड आई हैव डायरेक्टेड द प्ले द म्यूजिक अगेन हैज बीन डन बाय पंडित तन्मा बोस और लाइट्स जो ये पूरा इफेक्ट है वो दौलत बैद जी का है जो नीलम मैम के साथ भी लाइट्स करते हैं और हम मेरे जितने प्लेस हैं दौलत जी ने ही दौलत भाई ने ही लाइट किए हैं तो इस सीन में सभी गांधारी हैं जो कृष्ण को ललकार रही हैं कि तुम मेरे साथ ऐसा कैसे कर सकते थे मेरे सौ पुत्रों को कैसे मार सकते थे ये द्रौपदी का सीन है जहाँ अगेन हम लोग सब द्रौपदी है तो ये चीर हरण से ना दिखा के बाद में एक तस्वीर आती है आई थिंक वो दो तस्वीरें बाद है थोड़ा आगे जाओ एक बार और आगे तो वो कैसे दिखाया कि जब चीर हरण के बाद उसकी जो व्यथा है पेन है क्योंकि शी इज इवोकिंग कृष्णा और द कृष्णा विद इन और द स्ट्रेंथ विद इन वो कहते हैं कि कृष्ण उसको बार बार कहता है कहते हैं कि जब जब तुम अपने आप को खूबसूरत समझोगी तो लोग तुम्हें समझेंगे अगर तुम अपने आप को शर्मनाक नहीं होने दोगी तो ऐसा तुम्हारे साथ नहीं होगा एंड यू नो कमिंग इन द वेक ऑफ सो मेनी रेप्स दैट आर हैपनिंग अराउंड अस व्हिच इज वेरी पेनफुल फॉर अ वुमन आई वुड ओनली अर्ज ऑल वुमेन टू बिकम स्ट्रांग अपने आप को हम इतना स्ट्रांग बनाए चाहे वो मार्शल आर्ट्स है चाहे ट्रेनिंग है कि कोई भी हो सामने वाला उसे हमें इमोशनल अब्यूज या फिजिकल अब्यूज देने से पहले हमसे डर लगे सो इन दिस सीन आई वुड से दैट हमने मोर पंख यूज किए कि यू नो दैट हाउ थ्रू दीज वेरी जेंटल थॉट और वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग थॉट शी इज एम्ब्रेस्ड बाय द more punk to you know show the relationship between krishna and uh, go back uh, to the which was the first uh, picture ha to yahan se hum aage jate hain again ek scene mein uh, isse agle scene mein chitrangada uh, chhau ke through apne aap ko abhivyakt karti hai ye soma giri hai और इससे पहले सीन में बहुत सारी द्रौपदी है नेहा है नीतिका रेखा संध्या सरोज तिवारी जिन्होंने गंधारी किया सीमा ग्रोवर सो बहुत सारे लोग इसमें जुड़े हुए हैं अगेन टीचर्स डिजाइनर्स फोटोग्राफर सो सोमा गिरी वॉज अ डांसर शी डिपिक्स थ्रू छाओ 
एंड चित्रांगदा का कैरेक्टर दर्शाती है उसके बाद प्रज्ञा द्रौपदी की लास्ट कथा दिखा रहे हैं कि जो पांच उन्होंने चीजें यू नो इसमें दाल मोट दाल और चावल थे कि पांचों जो द फाइव हजबेंड्स दैट्स व्हाट शी शी इज डिपिक्टिंग दैट हाउ और इट्स ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आई एम कैरिंग द फाइव हजबेंड्स ऑन माय सेल्फ बट व्हाट हैव दे डन फॉर मी और व्हाट हैव दे डन टू मी एंड दैट्स द होल सीन दैट शी इज शोइंग ओवर हियर नेक्स्ट um oh this is a lovely scene where dropdi is being taught uh you know seduction by a seductress so that is one scene that we really explore at length next yeah this is where uh, krishna is saying ki tum utni hi khoobsurat ho jitna ki tum sochoge so this is a very important thought so these are the kind of important thoughts we kind of try to bring back to life to you know build in confidence in ourselves the moment we feel ki ha main khoobsurat hu you already feeling confident so is tarah ki choti choti baatein jo kaam karte hue nikal ke aati hain this is uh, that uh, scene again uh, you know uh, if i i hope i haven't uh, there's vinita poddar of course and lot of other people uh, that are in acting over here uh i'm just taking their names because it will give them a great pleasure i'm i'm sure they are watching this uh, to be acknowledged um yeah so this is where i mean this project of ours thanks to dolly thakur ji uh, got uh, largely national award uh, for gender sensitization and i think it's a very um एक जर्नी जो हम ले रहे हैं अपनी जिंदगी में जो हमारे दिल के बहुत करीब है कमिंग टू टूडे वेयर वी आर वेरी हैप्पी टू लॉन्च द क्रिएटिव आर्ट्स एकेडमी विच नाउ विल नॉट ओनली टीच थिएटर बट आल्सो विल टीच म्यूजिक डांस राइटिंग कम्युनिकेशन आर्ट्स मैनेजमेंट एंड आर्ट्स एट स्कूल एक और प्रोजेक्ट है जो हम शुरू करने वाले हैं सो थिएटर जो बच्चों को और बड़ों को सिखाया जाता है उसके अलावा ये सब सब्जेक्ट्स भी होंगे कम्युनिकेशन का डिपार्टमेंट हमारे चेयरपर्सन एस वी रमन हेड करेंगे राइटिंग का डिपार्टमेंट अंजुम कटियाल हेड करेंगी और हमारे सीनियर एडवाइजरी हैं नीलम मान सिंह जी और भाई बलदीप सिंह जी पंडित तन्मय बोस जी और सुनील भंडारी और नंदिता पाल चौधरी हमारे एडवाइजरी बोर्ड में है उसके अलावा बहुत सारे गेस्ट फैकल्टी फ्रॉम द पूरी दुनिया से वी आर ट्राइंग टू गेट देम ओवर एंड आई रियली होप बलवंत ठाकुर जी एंड सो मेनी अदर सीनियर्स इन थिएटर नाउ एटलीस्ट थ्रू ऑनलाइन कैन कम एंड टीच द स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हियर चाहे वो ऑनलाइन में आए या खुद यहाँ आके सिखा सके सो इफ देर आर नो क्वेश्चन आई कैन आस्क द टीम टू सेंड मी इफ देयर इज एनी क्वेश्चन देन आई वुड बी हैप्पी टू आंसर अदरवाइज आप यहाँ पे लिख सकते हैं कमेंट बॉक्स में एंड आई विल विजिट इट लेटर ऑन द फेसबुक एंड ट्राई टू आंसर इट सो थैंक यू सो मच एक बार फिर से तहे दिल से शुक्रिया नटरंग जम्मू की टीम को और बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया बलवंत ठाकुर जी को कि आपने मुझे बुलाया मेरी जर्नी शेयर करने के लिए और मुझे बहुत लुत्फ आया आप सबके साथ गुफ्तु करने में थैंक यू सो मच स्टे सेफ एंड कीप क्रिएटिंग कीप स्माइलिंग थैंक यू नमस्कार